neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number four. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He'll return it from the one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Flings it left. And he's tackled right away. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He's on the run. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's at the 30, and he's taken down around the 21-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. and hard at the 21. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Tackle made at the four. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. And this play is number eight on the drive. great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 69-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. 
And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Laterals back. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 22 yard line inside the 10 and he's tackled at the two First and goal. All on the two. They put everyone up on the line. On the pitch, look out. Loose ball. And the defense is on it. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He scrambled. Tackled around the 25-yard line. Rice up seven points. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's on the run. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at midfield. You can't design these kind of plays. You really can't, Brad. That was just great instincts to know where the sticks were. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. That makes it first and 10. Fights forward to about the 33. Call it again three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 33. Throws quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looks like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Rice can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, start. offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. The kick is up. And he got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. 
and sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Makes it to the 34. That's it for one, and we might have the upset of the week on our hands. The Owls with a 10-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes it out to about the 29. yard line second down and he carries the ball for a nice game four yards there on the old quarterback keeper here's the eighth play of the series he did not get to the first down marker couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Defense stacked in tight here. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And the defense comes through. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. After a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Hey. 
And he has it on the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game seven. That makes it first and ten. Takes the ball right. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 32-yard line. Second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. Game of six yards. Third down. Tackled for a loss. That brings us fourth and three. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 13 to nothing. Right. He just drills this one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Caught, open field. He's tackled at the 27. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. Well, we played a half of football. Rice has got a 13-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half was a clinic in the running game. Not only were the double teams executed properly by the offensive line, they reached the second level. A pretty demoralizing first half for the defense. Yeah, because stopping the run's about being physical. And so you know that it's man on man, and you got to push that other guy back. And when you're getting pushed around consistently, and then you go, okay, they're killing us with the run. We got to come up, we got to bring an extra guy in the box and they're still destroying you, absolutely 100%. It becomes psychological, and you got to find ways to stop the run because that's the easiest play to do. They're not even having to pass the football, Reese. They're just being able to run it over and over and over again. And if I'm them, I keep running the money play, which, which has been the running game the whole first half, and, and it's going to continue to be successful unless you man up and start getting some penetration. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Rice is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Got some open field. He gets to about the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Sheds a tackler. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. You take so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. And he's level at the 37. That is a of one yard on the way. That makes it second and ten. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. That brings us third and ten. And here's another third down. Got a man in and out of his hands. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Tackle made at the 29. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. run and he's brought down. Got the corner. Decent run here, right side. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Give to the tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Second down and 17 to go. Ball on their own 32. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He's knocked out of bounds at the 23. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 26. And 
he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. scrambling they'll bring him down around the 31 yard line and he's tackled at the 36 Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. And they'll get him in the backfield. Makes his way to about the 45. That's a deal of the game. That'll bring up third and two. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it first and two. at the 45. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and six. at the 34. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? Rice has got a 13-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. taken down around the 35-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From the 35-yard line, second down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle made at the 33. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. They'll drop him for a loss. A one-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Rice is ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He's got it with room to run. 
And he tackles him hard at the 31. That'll make it second and so it's second down now. And they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 43. Look out, loose ball. They fall on it. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 35. Quickly incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. over the middle to the fullback. That's a great tackle at the 25. He's on the run. Brought down around the 19-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So we're looking at another third down here. Just throws this one away. Roger, Roger. Can you hold this. And he hits him hard at the 10. This is the 12th play of the drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. They bring the quarterback down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Throw it in a hurry. Go into the end zone. Almost intercepted. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On the ground, right side. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
Georgia Tech will take their first time out of the half. Second and five. Ball on their own 21. Nice run there. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. The Yellow Jackets are going to call their second time out. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. The halfback loses about one on the option. Georgia Tech's called their final timeout. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He's hit and taken down. I'm sure the coaches are going to tell him to calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes into the defense like that without making a mistake. We have less than a minute to go. He launches one for the end zone. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That brings us third and ten. Throws a laser across the middle. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. And they'll take over on downs. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 16 to nothing, Owl. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.